Nobel laureate George Wald from Harvard University uh, wrote an article for a Scientific American uh, in 1954 called The Origin of Life. And in it he said, when it comes to the origin of life, there are only two possibilities, creation or spontaneous generation. There is no third way. Spontaneous generation was disproved 100 years ago, but that leads us to only one other conclusion, that of supernatural creation. We cannot accept that on philosophical grounds, therefore we choose to believe the impossible that live, life arose spontaneously by chance." End quote. See what he's, what he's saying there is that science has to be conducted in a naturalistic vacuum. On philosophical grounds we can't follow the evidence wherever it leads if it leads us outside the natural realm to a metaphysical realm, to a supernatural realm. We have to stay within this naturalistic, materialistic box. This in 1954, and the idea here is that science will ultimately answer all of these questions. But the last thing that we want to do is jump into some kind of philosophical or theological explanation. It's interesting that 30 years later, in 1984, the late George Wald again gave us another quote. This was called Life and Mind in the Universe, and he actually was speaking at the Quantum Biology Symposium. And here's what he said 30 years after the quote I just read you. It has occurred to me lately, I must confess, with some shock at first to my scientific sensibilities, that both questions, meaning the origin of consciousness in humans and of life from non-living matter, might be brought into some degree of congruence. This is with the assumption that mind, rather than emerging as a late outgrowth in the evolution of life, has existed always as the matrix, the source and condition of physical reality. The stuff of which physical reality is composed is mind stuff. It is mind that has composed a physical universe that breeds life and so eventually evolves creatures that know and create science, art, and technology making animals. In them, the universe begins to know itself. This again was 1984 by the late George Wald, an agnostic and materialist naturalist. But do you see where he's going there? He brings in a notion of mind. He says, as I studied these 30, these 30 years, these three decades since his previous statement, how does matter become mind? It doesn't. Mind must bring forth matter. You see, matter has never brought forth consciousness, or rationality, or mind. Information. See, now we know what the, the simple cell, so-called, or DNA, that this is information code. Information theory would say that this type of code, this type of ordered sequence, this type of information, can only be a product of mind, of intelligence. There is no other alternative. So what is George Wald saying here, even though it shocks his scientific sensibilities? It's that in all areas of study, mind must bring forth information, matter, etc. Matter never brings forth mind. Think about that.